The outside of the former auto body shop is nondescript for motorists passing by on West Main Road. But inside there is a transformation going on that will culminate next month with the opening of Rhode Island's newest licensed dispensary for patients authorized to purchase medical marijuana. The Greenleaf Compassion Center in Portsmouth will become the second of three dispensaries authorized by the Department of Health in what has been a stop and go process over the past several years. The only people that can enter the facility through locked doors are people that are card holders and only card holders that have registered specifically with our Compassion Center. Dr. Seth Bach is a Middletown acupuncturist and partner in Greenleaf, which beat out more than a dozen other applicants and will be the sole Compassion Center in the East Bay. The other two are in Warwick and Providence. Bach and his partners are putting a total of $600,000 into the venture and expect to eventually serve several hundred patients after it opens May 31st. Given the product is being sold and grown here, the owners are investing heavily in security. A bulletproof glass foyer will eventually greet customers when they are buzzed in after showing identification. We take security very, very seriously. Um, that, from my perspective, that's really, um, aside from providing the best medicine that we can to people that need it, uh, security, security is right up there with it. The original plan called for the center to be located on the back side of the Portsmouth Business Park, sandwiched in between a row of businesses. But Bach said the landlord got cold feet, and there were odor concerns since marijuana will be cultivated on site. The new location is more visible and close to a bus stop. This was a local decision that the state made. Larry Fitzmorris is president of the Portsmouth Concerned Citizens Group, which has watched the project closely since it was first proposed. Fitzmorris says the state took local input out of the application and siting process. When you have a local council that meets or a local school committee that meets, in the town of Portsmouth, if you have some objection about what they're doing, you can go in there, sit down, when the subject comes up and the debate engages, you can stand up and tell the members of the council what you think. Longtime resident and citizens group member Kathy Melvin agrees. The town of Portsmouth puts people through the hoops when they want to come in here uh, and set up and, and do business. There's questions asked about lighting and what are your hours of operation and are your parking uh, spaces sufficient? We have been before the town council and they basically said, you know, we don't have any oversight just because it's, it's what it is, you know, that doesn't mean that we have any special regulatory oversight. It's a state law and so they actually chose to not, um, not do anything with it. Bach insists that Greenleaf has worked with local officials, including the building inspector and the police and fire chiefs. We follow all of the same regulatory, in-town regulatory requirements as any other business here. It just so happens that we met those requirements and we met with the, um, the building inspector and zoning officer and he, um, you know, he went through the normal process that everybody goes through. Not every business needs to get a zoning variance. Is this a moral drug issue for you? Is it a process issue? Is it a combination of both? Well, I should be absolutely clear that I oppose the use of marijuana in any form. What about the people who would say, this is just a not in my backyard? Uh, are you guilty as charged on that? Or well, I'm guilty as charged on that for sure. But I think that we should have had that chance to make that decision, and we didn't. And there's been other things passed here locally I didn't approve of, but they were passed by and the it, people. But it went through the process. It went through the process. For instance, our windmill here was approved by the voters of the town of Portsmouth. Irrespective of all the rest of the stuff associated with that decision, that was a decision made by the people, and therefore it, it's valid in my, in my view. I think maybe some people feel like it should have gone to the whole town for a referendum, um, but uh, you know, at the end of the day, A, I think it would have passed um, by a large majority. It's very clear that for medical marijuana specifically, 83% um, of people in the country um, believe that it should be available to people that, that need it. If, in my judgment, if they'd been placed before the people for a vote here, it would have failed. 
we would have launched a rather substantial op opposition to it. Bach, who has a master's degree in Chinese herbal medicine, says he feels strongly about the use of medical marijuana. I watched uh, two of my aunts die of cancer, um, and they had cancer for long periods of time, and I watched them use this medicine, and it kept them alive for a long time because they were able to complete their chemotherapy regimens. They were not affected by the nausea in the way that people are that, uh, that don't have access to this medicine. I think some people have the feeling that the entire topic of medical marijuana being a medicine is a sham and that it's all about us just making a lot of money and getting it to whoever wants it regardless of any health parameters. While the center has limited parking, Bach says he expects it to be adequate and the center will make adjustments if necessary. He also says the owners plan to meet with neighbors who live just a few hundred feet from the backside of the building. We're going to have an open house and we'll invite uh, people that live in this neighborhood to, to come to it. This is before we open, um, probably in that last week, and um, so they could drop by. There won't be any medicine on site, um, but uh, you know, we'll give people an opportunity to come in and check it out. It's and not going to be like a taste test here, right? No. <laughs> there, will be, there will be no sampling of the... No, uh, no, 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 no. Get you shut down pretty quickly, wouldn't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> right. Revoked. Then there's the issue of the federal government. U.S. Attorney Peter Narona in the past has warned large-scale growers about potential prosecution. This week, a spokesman declined our request for a comment about the compassion centers. Do you have any concerns about the federal government? You know, I definitely have concerns about it. I'm a, I'm a dad, I'm a husband, I'm a community member, I'm a family member. Um, most of the time, I'm a pretty good person. Um, you know, I'm in this for the right reason. I work with people that are desperate um, and have benefited from this. And so it's a, it's a program built on compassion. I have every intention of following that mission. This is not legalization for the masses. We're not putting this medicine into the hands of children. It's not going on the black market. From every logical standpoint, this model is the best model probably in the country. In Portsmouth, Jim Hummel for the Hummel Report.